What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, we are taking a look at the F and Grow EF127. Huge shout out to F and Grow for sending this guy in for us to take a look at. And not only are we going to look at it, but we are going to test this guy out, see how this thing does in a variety of different tasks. Now, to cover a couple of things about this knife, it comes in right around $39.99. That's full retail price. Now, this holds up the way that I think it can. That is an extremely good price. We're looking at 14C28N for the steel, which is a fantastic steel, especially for a fixed blade like this. It is ultra tough. It is very corrosion resistant, and it's easy to put an edge back on 14C. This is going to come in a plethora of different versions. You can get G10, you can get micarta. So they do have a couple of different options options they put a aluminum collar around the uh, torque screws here which gives it a little pop of color this is the g10 variant here and then they have a couple of micarta ones as well I really like this titanium nitride black wash finish that they put on here. I think it should take uh, abuse pretty well. We're going to see about that. Uh, the 14C is coming in 59 to 61 on the HRC. We have a 5 inch blade with a 5.08 inch handle, which is going to make this right about 10 inches overall going to be a good size for an outdoor fixed blade and depending on your preferences could also be a good everyday carry fixed blade depending on your size preference it does come with a kydex sheath and it also comes with a universal clip you can scout carry this you can move the clip around and change the way you want to carry it so that is a nice touch from f and grow they not only send you with the sheath but they send you a way to carry the knife as well. So I think this is a nice little package coming in right around the $40 mark. Let's go ahead and we'll start off with some testing. So I do have a piece of magazine paper here and it has been weathered and it's windy. So this might not be all telling, but let's see what kind of fine edge this guy has. And that's really not what we're looking for here. We are looking for a good edge, but uh, uh, we're not looking to see if it can slice paper, really. But we are interested in seeing what kind of edge does come on this thing. And it seems to have a very nice edge. This has no use on it. This is right out of the box. And it seems to have a pretty good edge on it. Now, I can tell you guys... This will not strike a ferro rod because of the way the spine is shaped. It does not strike a ferro rod. So if that's what you're looking for, uh, or if you're looking for that quality in your fixed blade, this is one that will not do that. So keep that in mind. But this is still an extremely good value, I believe. So we're going to get to the testing and see what happens. So we'll bring out our second test media, just a single walled piece of cardboard and just kind of see, get a feel for this guy and see what it's capable of here. That's going against the grain of the cardboard. We'll try that on the next piece. We'll go with it. Oh no, that's well, that's a pretty thick piece of cardboard there. I don't know. Yeah, it's got a good edge on it, guys right out of the box and that is prototypical of F and Grow's fixed blades that I have had in. Let's go ahead and move to something a little more destructive. So we will do a tip test but we'll save that for the end of the video. 
we're going to grab our hammer here and we're going to is this too tall eh you guys will see it as it comes down if it gets through this so let's see what we got we'll try some batoning here right through a knot And it's going right through this stuff. This is definitely seasoned wood here. And like I said at the beginning, guys, 14C is an extremely tough steel. So stuff like this, you know, batoning. I still don't have myself. I need to get one, but I guess I need to make one. I'm just too lazy. Plus, I like my little hammer here. But we could get a mallet or make a mallet, but I'm pretty lazy when it comes to that sort of thing. How about we move to a little bit more substantial piece of wood here. Let's see what this thing is really made of. That's right. This thing is making short work of a lot of this stuff. This thing is impressive so far. We're going to see how tough it really is. Maybe do a little destruction test with this. How about can we... Now, although we can't strike a ferro rod with this if we can you know get all the stuff that we would need for a fire and if you are you know someone who is prepared you'll have some ways to start a fire so if this is capable of making some feathers which it appears to do very very good at look at them nice little feathers and i can say also that the grip on this thing is nice and comfortable it does have a nice little contour to it how about carving tasks for around the fire this wood is very seasoned and very hard How about a little reverse feather drill for all you guys out there and this is a good way to get some nice you know if you if you're in bad weather something like this is really good because you have everything right here you can you know get your stuff and situate it around this but if you have good weather you can do something like you see here and get loose feathers and get yourself a fire rolling that way. Kind of a, a pick your poison, if you will. But it seems to be shaving very, very nicely. And we also have a couple more effing grows to test out as well. So this is not the only one. So if this one turns out impressive, uh, I'll be pretty stoked about that. Why don't we go ahead...
and see what kind of ooh Yeah, this and then let's take a look at the wear on the blade there. And I think, you know, we'll see some wear on it, but I think once we wipe it back down, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. I think I think this coating is going to take wear pretty good. All right, so let's see what we can do this direction. Damn. This thing is not joking around. That's a piece of one by three right here. That is pretty damn good there. I've tested a lot of fixed blades, guys, and stuff tends to struggle with these types of cuts and <laughs> that that is impressive. That's pretty damn impressive there, guys. <laughs> All right, so this is not going to be much for chopping, but can it get the job done is the question. Can it get the job done somewhat? There's just not quite enough here to be classified as a chopper and you know it, it's not meant to be should have a lanyard on this to do this type of stuff but I'm a professional That's doing pretty damn good for something that is not meant for that. Today it's abnormally cold. For, well, not abnormally cold, I guess, but it's pretty cold out today. Now, I said about the ferro rods. This one, because of the rounded spine, hopefully that's on video there, uh, because of the rounded spine, it's not going to strike a ferro rod. Now, people will say if it's not carbon steel, it won't. But if you have a sharp enough spine, it will strike a ferro rod. Uh, that's that's what you need, is something that is nice and sharp. The carbon steel does help, but you can do it if it has a sharp enough spine. Why don't we go ahead and we'll move to a tip test.
That's uh, pretty damn impressive, guys. Properly heat treated, it should be very tough, and with a thicker spine such as this, that is good news. I've seen cold steels snap. I've seen shreds snap uh, in OS 10, uh, OS 8. Uh, 14C is a different animal when it comes to a knife blade or a knife steel, especially if it's done properly, guys, with the right geometry, the right treatment of the steel. This stuff is going to get the job done if it's done right. Um, <laughs> and this is not meant for some of the crap that we're doing to it, but it continues to continue rocking on. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit more. So this thing's kind of laughed off everything, and you can see here the size of this log compared to the knife. Let's see, you know, let's just see what happens here. We're above the frame, but you guys will see it as it comes down. Baby, I wonder. There's no way it can go through this meaty part here. Let's see. Well, not no way, but and. I could have swore there was a knot in this. <sighs> Look at that thing, guys. That is ridiculous. So, that is very good. Ah. Uh, I've been talking with the people at F and Grow for a while, checked out some of their folders, and they're doing a lot better job with that stuff. But I told them I was really interested in the fixed blades, not only because they looked great and they're very well priced, there was a knot in there, and that went right through that thing. But not only because they're well priced, but and, and they look great. They come in 14C, they come in OS 10, they have a bunch of different blade shapes. They do a bunch of different stuff, and I've heard that they are extremely solid, and I wanted to find out for myself. I told them once nice weather came, I would be testing these out and seeing what they're made of, and they sent them along anyway. And uh, this is a good start. For the F and Grow series that we have coming up. We have two more to get to. At least I think two or three. And we're going to be getting more. As we go on to check out. We have some OS 10. Some more 14C. We got some really fine looking knives coming up. That are extremely well priced. You guys will have to let me know. What do you think of this F and Grow fixed blade? Go check out and see what, they, what else they have to offer. Because they have some really nice stuff at a very good price point as well. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button because we'll be doing a lot more stuff just like this all summer long. We would love to have you here. I'll throw up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.